Councilwoman Kennedy. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I rise to acknowledge the Kansas City Health Department for 150 years of service to public health in Kansas City. Um, our director, Dr. Rex Archer and his staff, um, also uh, community co-chair of the Health Commission, Dr. Laura Lacey Hahn, uh, I have come today, um, but want to take a couple of moments just to point out uh, my experience with the, the Health Department Health Commission as council co-chair for the Health Commission. I had the privilege of working uh, with Dr. Archer and his staff on measuring health outcomes, advocacy efforts, outreach efforts, um, planning and strategic initiatives and partnerships um, that have all led to uh, the culmination of the city of Kansas City receiving the highly competitive 2015 Robert Woods Johnson Foundation Cultural Health Prize Award um, with collaboration with CCO and a numerous of other uh, community partners. Um, one thing that I've learned in this time is that um, health is not just health care, it's also community, and they do a great job of marrying the two together. So I'd just like to uh, acknowledge them for their service, and um, uh, I look forward to working with you guys in the future. Thank you, Councilwoman Kennedy. Councilwoman Hall. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you so much to the Health Department and Dr. Archer for the things that you do for the citizens of our city. You reach the people who need to be reached the most, and we're so grateful for that. Um, you are the second Health Department in the United States to meet all nine of the Food and Drug Administration's food safety standards out of 682 health departments across this country um, that are pursuing this distinction. So this is such an honor that people need to know about. And then the other thing is the Kansas City, Missouri Health Department has been awarded seven model practice and six Promising Practice Awards by the National Association of City and County Health Officials. Few health departments have performed even at this level. So we're very grateful to have you in our community. Thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman Hall. Councilman Wagner. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Just very briefly, as I've had a pleasure to work with a number of staff members of the health department, uh, even helping uh, draft some things that uh, ended up on the ballot that we were very successful for. Uh, so those uh, hotels and motels uh, are finally seeing the light of day, thanks to our health department. Uh, but whether it's that issue, uh, working on noise issues, as we're taking that right now through our joint committee, um, the health department does an excellent job. And I just want to thank them for all the help that they've given to me over these past five years. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Councilman Wagner, Councilman Reed. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, as we know on this council, our city is 166 years old. And to think today that we are celebrating the health department for 150 years is uh, remarkable to show you the forethought about how important public health has been to our city and to um, all of us as well. And so I want to congratulate uh, the health department for all of their efforts. Uh, Dr. Archer, every time you come before us, you have a 15 minute speech, so I would encourage you to speak for five seconds uh, today. Uh, <laughs> because we know how passionate uh, you are about uh, public health and of course your staff as well. But one of the things that I would like to highlight is that um, as I was looking at the minority health report from 2000, I realized that we have made some tremendous strides here in our city. The average life expectancy gap has narrowed from 6.5 years to five years between whites and black since the health department issued that health report uh, back in 2000. And racial segregation has been reduced by 7%. And I think that that is a true test to a testament to all of the work that the health department, many who are represented here today, but all of those persons who work over at the health department and other areas in our community. If it's not HIV and AIDS, or if it's not just getting your birth certificate or going for a checkup at the health department, that work really helps with all of the quality of life that all of us deserve. So 150 years outside of 166, I think that's worthy of celebration. Congratulations. Thank you, Councilman Reed. Councilman Taylor. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I was going to ask when we were talking about the 150 years, if uh, just ask if the health department uh, gardens, you know, because we were talking about that <laughs> earlier. That was a business session thing that happened. But I uh, want to commend the uh, health department for uh, its proactive approach to things. It's a, we have an award-winning health department we should really be proud of as a city. Uh, Dr. Archer's leadership has been very important because you really – uh, set the tone, but what I think you've really done uh, that will have a long-lasting legacy for health departments, built depth of, of great characters and uh, character and quality within the health department because uh, as we uh, have many public meetings, we have health department representatives out representing uh, the city, answering a lot of different questions on the proactive uh, programs that you've undertaken uh, because uh, 
you know, you, you don't just wait for things to happen. You, you, uh, you uh, plan ahead. And so you've taken uh, uh, things that I think people don't understand or, or aren't familiar with as far as uh, you've done a lot of initiatives, anti-violence initiatives to, to enhance outcomes. Uh, you have uh, the anti-smoking effort. Uh, we wouldn't have smoke-free restaurants if it wasn't for our health department taking the lead with other, other community groups many years ago. Uh, the uh, many other initiatives that come up on a daily basis and the services you provide are very important to our citizens. So we really appreciate your commitment to our city. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Taylor. Are there any others who wish to speak to the resolution? Um, you, just adjusting, okay. Um, if not, the resolution is now before council. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, say no. There are no opposed. Resolution is passed. <laughs> Would you like to speak? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, anyone up here could uh, do that, but uh, um, most of the important points were already covered, so it can be really quick. Think about saving lives just on tobacco alone. Uh, when I first came back to Kansas City, we were losing two people on average per day, and that's down to about one. So we still have a long ways to go, but that's 365 people that didn't die this last year because of the work that we've been doing. When it comes to protecting people from health threats, um, the reason we started 150 years ago was all the communicable disease challenges that were going on then. and. We live 35 years longer now than we did 150 years ago. Five of those years are because we have better illness care, but 30 is because we stop the disease from starting to begin with or delay its onset. And last is we're about saving money through prevention. Uh, everybody, whether it's Trust for America or whoever that looks at the investment and performance of public health, for every dollar you put into public health, you save at least five dollars in other costs to society. So, uh, with that, uh, I really appreciate my staff, appreciate the council's support because our department can't function without the support of the council and, and you, Mayor. So, um, and with that, I do I want to at least have the vice chair of our health commission, the mayor that you've appointed, be able to say a couple of things. Thank you, Dr. Archer, and um, I will just take a couple of seconds. First, I want to make just two major points. One is to re reiterate what many of the council person persons have already said about the national recognition that the health department has. So not only has it been around for 150 years, but the quality of the work it's doing for the citizens of Kansas City is remarkable, and it's brought a lot of uh, very positive national attention to Kansas City as well. And the second is that uh, Dr. Archer in the health department and in working with the health commission, it's been very obvious to us the collaborations in the communities that he has built and how important that has been to the success of the programs that has been going out into the community. So I want to thank Dr. Archer and all the staff on the health department that we work with through the health commission for everything that is going on in Kansas City and for the leadership. Thank you very much.